What if I told you a black officer uh, got fired? He had a flat tire. A black officer gets fired after reporting the flat tire because he used profanity. Here it is. Yes, sir, what you doing? You getting out the vehicle on me? Go on back, go on back up there. I'm a low man. Go on back up there. No, no, you don't talk me that kind of way. I'm you, my name you is, walking up to me. My name is Officer Dixon. I don't care. Oh, you don't care? Walk back to your vehicle. Walk back to your vehicle. My name is Officer Dixon. That's awesome. You got a flat tire and, and you're on your phone. I saw it in your hands. I'm finna call my friend. Who you I you don't mean? care. Let's get let's, let's get understanding here. Now, I'm going home. You see the tire flat. Uh-huh. Now, now I saw the phone you, in your hand. And I'm going home. I'm gonna call my friend okay. and tell her. Why you being such ugly, man? Because you're getting out of the car on me for one. I'm going to tell you who I am. You could tell me that when I get to the window. Man, you've been a butthole, man. I'll talk to court about you. Okay. Yeah, Let me see your license. I don't have one. This don't have one. Yeah, I got it with me. You, you act like a ass, man. You really is. I just told you who I am. Okay, that's you, awesome. That, that don't mean, oh, you said, okay. No, you just been a Is that what you been? Yep, I got more video. And let me say this. Let's put up the picture full of mass. Okay, the officer, um, the black officer, is trying to have a professional conversation with a white officer. The white officer, uh, he don't give a damn that this is an officer. I wonder why he doesn't care that this is an officer who has a flat tire. An officer has a flat tire and you're going to still give him a ticket. Um, per WALB. Former Osceola, Georgia police officer Ronald Dixon, who has been in law enforcement for 35 years of his life. 35 year officer says he was fired and it was not justifiable after reporting the incident that happened while off duty involving a traffic stop with an Irwin County Sheriff's deputy, okay? Now, here's the continued conversation with the officer. Can you walk up, can you go back over there? I don't, I, I did it because I know what the law is, I'm the law to it, I'm telling you who I am. Yeah, and if, you, if you're, you're a law man, you know you don't spend, you're not supposed to get out the car on somebody. We, we try to have a community in Asheville, law I'm gonna give you a warning for the phone, okay? A warning for the phone. The man had a flat tire. He was calling someone to help him. He gets a warning for the phone and then later gets fired for reporting it. All right? Let me give you the zig and zag of this story. January 2024. Officer Dixon says he was stopped by the deputy while trying to call for help because he had a flat tire. It was evident he had a flat tire. Quote, when I saw the blue lights, I thought he was about to give me some assistance because he saw that I had a flat tire, he said to himself. I see you got a flat tire, right? You see I got a flat tire, therefore, are you going to give me some assistance, question mark? Or ask, do I need any help? None of that came out of his mouth, Officer Dixon said. Put it up, full mass. So he reported the incident as he said he would. He reported the incident to his chief of police, Ashley Jones on the left, as well as the Irwin County Sheriff's Office. WALB spoke with Sheriff. Cody Yon on the right, and he said he didn't believe his deputy racially profiled Dixon and that the deputy pulled Dixon over because he was on his phone. Keep the picture up. The man had a flat damn tire. Where is he going? All of a sudden, Sheriff, your deputies are by the book now. By, by the book, 100%. No blue. There is no blue shield here. There is no blue wall. There is no um, blue lives matter because the color he saw was black. 
this deputy had so much power that he was able to get a city cop fired who wasn't even in the jurisdiction of the sheriff. Dixon provided WALB News with a copy of what was given to him when he was fired from the police department, Osceola, Georgia. It states that he violated the department's policy by not obeying. Do y'all hear this? This is in the policy. This is in the separation letter. By not obeying a lawful order during a traffic stop. So that's one. Two, using profane language. And it also states he violated another policy by making a false report that the department was racially profiling. Damn. They got this man fired for making a false police report for saying he believes he was racially profiled. He used profanity or profane language according to them. And he did not obey a lawful command. How fascinating is this? How ironic is this? You know, if the white cop would have shot the black cop without the black cop even being armed, the white cop would still have a job. Uh, He would have a vacation with pay. But a black officer, 35 year veteran, South Georgia, Osceola, has a flat tire. No one helps him. No one cares that he's been serving in that capacity for 35 years. It's because he decided to say something about it. You see, if he would have just tucked his tail between his legs and said absolutely nothing, he would still have a job today. But because he made a complaint, he put it on record. But after looking into the Osceola Police Code of Conduct, it only states that use of profanity is not allowed while conducting city business. To the chief of police, did you not cite that the officer under your command was off duty? How do you fire him when off duty, he's able to have a free expression of speech like any other citizen? Uh, The chief provided WALB with statistics from 2023. He says he's unsure why the community is stating his department is racial profiling. My apologies to sheriff. He says his deputy stopped over 2,000 cars in 2023, and only four black men got more tickets than white males. The sheriff also stated black males received 56 more warnings than white males in 2023. I don't give a damn what your statistics say because I know this. Figures don't lie, but liars do figure. And so, based on what you've already said, I have high doubt that your numbers are accurate. But I do know what I've seen with my own eyes. I've seen a 35 year veteran officer with a flat tire and a phone in his hand trying to get help. I saw another officer be a complete jerk to this individual and not even being expressive of humanity. Damn that the man is a cop. He's a person who's stranded. He's a person who has a flat tire. How do you be adversarial to that individual? Well, you have no heart of humanity toward him. That's why. Sharing is a hell of a thing. This man gets fired because he said what was correct. Yeah, and I saw it too. And I'm not fitting to argue with these two fools, okay? And yeah. that includes the sheriff about what my eyes saw. Jim Crow is alive and well. And this veteran cop, Mr. Dixon, I think has a hell of a good case. Because the sheriff may be able to release, you know, to perhaps one of his buddies or a friendly reporter who may not understand what I understand and you understand about statistics. But once there's a lawsuit and things start getting looked through, all the complaints, all the data, make sure you you fired every every off duty officer who didn't follow a lawful order. I'm not even sure if it's yeah. lawful, by right. the way. This right. is foolishness. Okay. It, it really is. It really is, and and I concur with you, Sharon. I hope 
this officer does have an attorney or get one uh, so that attorney can go through the file and see how many officers use profanity on duty and how many did you fire that part. Now we have unequal application of the policy. 